All right, I wanted to talk to you guys about clutch powered rigs versus hydraulic powered rigs. What might be better for you in what circumstances? When I'm doing Elastomeric, this is the rig I use because it loves that stuff. It will run the thickest material you can run through it and you have a lot less issues. You're gonna have all your filters out of everything too. But when you're running that Elastomeric heavy material or you're doing high volume, I've done jobs where I've done 70 gallons, 80 gallons an hour. And when I'm doing that, we're running several of these machines and that's these are the workhorse machine where you can just go through a lot of material very quickly um, there are some disadvantages to them we'll talk about those and the advantage of the other ones as well these Graco units right here have the best pressure control unit you with the with the uh, hydraulic units they don't have quite the pressure control that these do. And when you are pull your trigger um, almost at any time, when you're using one of these larger units, these is like the 1,000, 1,500 or whatever they are now, Mark V they call it, the old ones were the 1095s. This thing, uh, because it's clutch powered and it has the pressure control system that they have, the smart control, it actually when you pull the trigger it's always the same pressure now with the hydraulic unit you're gonna have some fluctuation so if you're in a place let's say you're on an interior and you're trying to really keep the dust down maybe it's something commercial you know having one of these machines is second to nothing else really the pressure control uh, state you can you pull that trigger and it'll be exactly the same you get that pressure adjusted to where it's not bouncing back at you and it's all the paints going on the wall and uh, and you can really dial it in to get that perfect pressure where you have no overspray and no dust a very good machine for that um, you can run this down to where you're down to like a gallon or two and it'll still prime and it won't spit especially the stand-up machine uh, when you have the one with the hose sometimes that can cause a problem where it will actually when it changes directions where it goes down and then it comes back up it can actually you get a little bit of sucking of air because it's sucks so much material that it can actually get a little bump of air in there and it'll actually start spitting a little bit um, less common on this machine now if you're running one of these machines uh, when you get down to that last gallon of material a lot of times they'll end up they'll end up sucking a little tiny bit of air get air bubbles in your material and you tend to get spits with this more often that's why a lot of times I'll use a smaller rig like this well, this one here's a actually a, a battery powered rig but I'll even use this with a Titan 440 which is similar and the reason I use that is because you can have a smaller amount of paint and less problems with spitting because it won't suck air where your spits come is from sucking air or having loose connections in your in your hose so guys if you're on the job site and you happen to realize that you're getting spits and you're using one of those rigs with the longer hose that might be the reason why uh, towards the end of your run like you're at the last two gallon or two so that's why I don't typically I have a nice hydraulic powered unit and I don't normally bring it with me because the jobs I'm doing are really small now uh, they're high profit very small jobs and that's all I do so yeah, I'd mostly sometimes I do a house or whatever but it's just not worth getting my gas rig out I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it because I hardly use it anymore but anyway just a couple little good things to help you out with your next project I'll talk in the next video please like share and subscribe